is the crazy dunno. She came from the stars. To many tribes, she came, though each knew her by a different name. You might see her now as two young Sioux hunters first saw her. Walking barefoot like a vision across the low rolling hills of the prairie. They had climbed to the top of one such hill, looking for game, for some sign of movement on the broad rolling sea of grass. Far away they saw a dot on the horizon. They watched carefully. By the time it disappeared behind the hill before them, they were almost certain it was human. With bated breath, they waited. At last, upon the crest of the hill, a young woman appeared wearing a beautiful white buckskin dress, decorated with dark porcupine quills. At her side, she carried a skin pouch. An eagle feather woven into her long braided black hair caught the light of the early afternoon. Remarking upon her extraordinary beauty, the first of the warrior braves exclaimed how he would like to couple with her there in the sun-warmed prairie grass. Put aside such thoughts, spoke the other brave. This is a sacred woman, vision perhaps. Certainly not one to be approached in that manner. But to his surprise, the woman in white buckskin smiled at the lusty warrior and said to him, Come to me, you shall have what you desire. And so the second brave was left standing alone on the prairie, watching as his brother walked off, apparently enjoying the mysterious woman in the swirling cloud of dust that for a while hid them both from sight. When the dust had settled enough to see, there was the woman bringing slowly together the stitches of her dress. And at her feet, partially decomposed, lay a corpse 